What up guys, Mazaku here, season 8 baby, and I know the quality looks fucked up, you guys weren't, wasn't here uh, last week, um, basically my phone sort of acting stupid, so I sent it back to T-Mobile, uh, to like their support center down in Texas actually, and I basically gotta wait a week for my phone to really come back, so right now I'm using a shitty ass laptop, but the laptop is cool as shit. Camera's not that good though, and uh, the audio, eh, it's shaky. So I do apologize, you know, in advance. Now, Naruto should put in episode four or six. I don't, I don't fucking know what episode we on. I know this shit done dragged on a, a forward. So, yo, these niggas. Look, even though. I like, you know, the high ground mode and Kaguya background, whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. It's like, they're just going to keep running to this. Like, in the middle of fights, like, like of this fight, at least. Um, so that's what the next episode is, and uh, another filler. Um, look, here's the thing, I'm, I'm, I need to get this off my chest. I'm reading a uh, comment, I believe... Where did I? I could have read this some somewhere on my page. Um, although we do like you know appreciate you like the Hagaromo's past and shit or whatever they're showing. Let's be honest, what they're showing and what they're saying completely goes by all the canon of uh, Lost ever set for. It. It's kind of really building plot holes around what was said. So it's kind of like you know I don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's good because it's not really plot holes because it's a non-canon and people. As I said, as I predicted, are still saying, oh, this is canon. No, you, you, you fucking dickhead. It's not in the fucking manga. It's not fucking canon. Maybe certain little points every here and there, and that's rarely, that's in the flashbacks, that part is canon. Saying, oh, they're patching it up, which makes it fucking canon. Shut the fuck up. Because it's not fucking canon. This week's episode was canon. As far as this filler nonsense, it's not fucking canon. And that's why, I, like, the Naruto fan base, no offense, I really tend to... Tend to not take these motherfuckers seriously. Although I reply, I reply because I give a fuck. Because I do want you guys to think a different way. Stop thinking this corrupt way, just telling yourself fucking lies. At least I give a fuck. Motherfuckers just tell you what you want to hear in this community. Appreciate me while I'm here, because I won't be here forever. You got the fucking, hardly fucking right. I fucking, these niggas, man. In Philly, everybody think they, they just bite life shit cool. Watch me bust your fucking head open. But, I mean, it's entertaining. I'm not taking away anything from that. It's entertaining. But, you know, it is, like, you know, plot holes that they're creating. Even though it's not really plot holes. But if you're solely a Shippuden watcher and you don't read manga, I'm I'm going to just say it's best to stay away from debates and or arguments. You know, regarding the gods and shit like that. Because you bring something up like this, you're just going to get shitted on. Man, my hair is nice as a motherfucker. But this review. Now, it starts off. Now, by the way, by the um the title, I was assuming that near the end of the episode, Naruto was going to do... The whole reverse term jutsu. No, I did actually appreciate that he did it in the beginning so we can, you know, get more shit within this episode. I fucking hate this fucking camera. Shit fucking sucks. Like, even... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But basically, he tells Sasuke the plan, and by the way, this shit was funny shit in the manga, and it's funny as hell in the, uh, the anime as well. But he tells Sasuke his plan. Uh, Sasuke is basically setting a diversion for another di diversion, so now Toto can get, like, a clear hidden and Sasuke, you know, goes uh activates his Amaterasu and lights up Kaguya. See, of course, is up Chakra and Naruto runs up Shadow Clone Jutsu reverse harem now. That shit worked on Sakura. If you thinking, man, that shit worked on me. It ain't gonna work on no god and Kaguya was like that deal. <laughs> yeah, I mean she I mean them shout out Dashy XP says that Dashy games, my nigga. I fuck fuck love Dashy. But you know, Naruto goes in, you know, use that distraction, gets the clear hit in. And from there, I think that's really, like, the only offense these motherfuckers get this episode. Because after that, it's like, okay. Okay. That, that, that's basically what she does. She's like, okay. So after that, Naruto and Sasuke tries to, you know, go ahead and seal her. And she says, fuck this. 
That's what she, she said. Fuck this. Freeze. Man. Sends these motherfuckers to another dimension. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, you... Oh, this turtle. What the fuck they doing? Oh, they fucking fighting. Oh. My bad. But... As they, uh, they see some some ice I mentioned, you can see Naruto with the shoot seeking ball trying to slowly escape, and that shit wasn't working. So Sasuke does um a very smart plan, by the way. He does um what the fuck do you call it um the Matarasu and with the uh I believe his right eye does the uh the flame control where he could just slice that bitch up and then break them out of the ice. Now another thing about this Hagoromo filler shit, I'm sorry about the turtles in the back that did really irritate me. Well, I mean, it irritated me after we went back to Canada because we seen the comparison with um Hagamoromo and uh, Hamura. We seen the comparison, and I mean, even though it's not you know canon, that shit was just ass because from what from what they made it look like, it's like Hagamoromo could easily stomp this fucker like he's a regular villager. That's what they made it look like. I mean, yeah, he can fend off against some Thai dudes who you know that's probably around the equal level, but on a power scale, it's not even close. And then, the fact that they did that, and then did, like, compare Naruto Sasuke to, like, Hagoromo and Hamura, I could already hear the Naruto fans just, just, uh, jacking off, uh, uh. and, you know, you guys, you know, you guys laugh at my jokes and shit like that, I laugh at it too, occasionally, but most of the time, they're not fucking jokes, because they are true, people believe in the hype, and they really go off of this bullshit that people show on the, on the period fucking studios, they go off of it. Even this was filler. I've seen people use fucking game feasts with Itachi. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. But um, at, pretty much after that, um, Naruto and Sasuke stand upon Kaguya. And basically, Blake Jetsu said, yo, we gotta separate these motherfuckers. So she goes out of her way and separates Sasuke first. Now... Even though this kind of even pissed me off why the manga was still running as well. Because it's like, yo, fucking Sasuke Uchiha. How the fuck you let that shit happen? But he gets uh thrown into like a desert no dimension and he's fucked. And now Naruto's left to fend for himself. And then we got to clone Naruto for no fucking reason reviving the shitty piece of fucking bullshit Obito. And, you know, man... You motherfuckers, man, I'm, look, look, I'm gonna attack me, niggas. Saying Naruto taught me so much. Naruto's way is the best way. Naruto's a very smart shinobi. Naruto knows what he's doing. Naruto is a good Hokage. Naruto is like the, the ultimate, he's the John Cena of the fucking series, basically. You get all of the hype, I mean, you are one of the strongest. I give you your props for that. But as far as decision making, it's... Let me ask you this, people, because you people, a lot of you Naruto's, y'all really, y'all don't fucking get it. Y'all don't fucking get it. If I came in your house, me is my Saku. The story, like, maybe your, what fact, fuck that, I came to your city. Destroyed your fucking city, right? And then killed your mom. I killed your dad. And I disappeared. And then I try to start a fucking world war. And you see me. And you kind of had the power to fuck me up. But you called me the coolest fucking guy. You want to be my fucking friend. Is that you sound right? No, no. Naruto is about forgiveness. Is it about forgiveness? Yes. It's not about being a fucking idiot, a dumbass, a naive fucking prick. You niggas defend this nigga to the fucking death. I know damn well if y'all was in his position, y'all wouldn't want to be friends with that motherfucker. Y'all definitely wouldn't. And if y'all do, y'all fucking lying to yourselves. Stop being in and out. Stop it. Stop pretending this Naruto Uzumaki character is a good fucking character. He is not. I'm not trying to... People, oh, you bitch my series too much. I, yeah, I do. 
Wanna know why I bitch about the fucking series? Because I care about the fucking series. If I didn't give a fuck, I wouldn't give a fuck. It's the point that the show was good once before, and the Naruto character actually made sense. And he was the under, ultimate underdog. Now, you know, this shit is all destined, and he's just making poor ass, stupid ass fucking decisions. Him and fucking Kakashi. Like, I don't understand why Obito is even allowed to breathe right now. That That's irritating me. You know, next to Sakura breathing, that's still irritating me. But, basically, they heal him, and he basically, you know, decides, you know, he wants to help them. And, uh, cry out for redemption. Whatever. Whatever. But, here's the thing. I don't like the fact that they treat this motherfucker in this episode like he's not a piece of shit. Like he didn't kill Neji. Oh, what the fuck? I'm laughing, but, you know, it ain't shit funny about this. Something you vested your time into. Your life into. I was a fan of Naruto before I started doing YouTube, man. And to see this character deteriorate like this, it is saddening to the fucking core because I care. I fucking care. And that's and that's my mistake for caring. Because now, his this guy's mindset, it, it doesn't even make fuck. I don't see how this nigga can be relatable. How is he relatable? How the fuck is he relatable? Oh, he never gives up. Motherfucker, I know a lot of regular niggas who never give up. That can mean a good thing or a bad thing. You never give up on trapping. You never give up on fucking bitches. That's a good thing, by the way. You never give up on smoking. You never give up on drinking. A lot of people can never give up. But when you never give up on being a complete ass, I don't see how you get any fucking praise for a complete dumbass. But basically, Sasuke is in the other dimension, and Obito, he comes up with a elaborate plan saying he can fuse his Kamui with um, Kaguya, so the uh, dimension. Problem is, he doesn't have the chakra reserve for it, and Naruto offers him help, Naruto clone, and Obito says that won't be enough. Now, first off, I'm like, yo, that's, the fact, look, man, I didn't really look, get into this in the manga, because I, I was already mad. But the fact, no, by the way, I know Naruto, excuse me, I know Sakura has really good uh, chakra. I know that. I know that. I'm not denying Sakura anything. You know she fucking sucks. But if you're telling me Sakura has more chakra than it, even a clone, look, I know it's just a clone, but it has Naruto's chakra, Uzumaki chakra, very strong, Kurama's fucking chakra, horrendous, and fucking Asura slash Shazer Six Pass fucking chakra instilled in that fucking clone, and it won't be enough. To be, no, in all fairness, Obito, well, I'm afraid he, do, he does have some, well, he has, has no chakra at this point. He probably can't sense no Rikido chakra. It was just weird to me how he said it won't be enough. Like, how the fuck do you, uh, But basically, you know, Sasuke's stuck in the dimension. And Naruto, he's basically kind of playing the smart game. At least his right name is his original body. Because Kaguya decides to um, merge, her, her, merge herself with basically nature. And is attacking him with all these like icebergs and snowballs and other bullshit. And he gets caught on purpose to kind of lure her in to do a counter, counter attack. Now, during this, we get like a little cutscene and we go to uh, the four Okages. They finally meet up with each other and they do um, see Madara's lower half, you know, basically cut off. So Mino, Minato's asking, does this mean he's dead or something much worse has appeared or something like that? So apparently, apparently they really, oh wait. But they can't set this fucking chakra. They out of the dimension. And out of those uh six say six past lays, since it's still Hagarum with chakra, he does appear as like a little shadow smoky thing. And that's basically where the episode ends. I mean overall, I get an episode, um where did I get this episode. The episode wasn't bad. It was just this Naruto with Nobito. It's just annoying me. The episode wasn't bad at all. I get this episode, um, this episode, like, an 8 out of 10. Pretty good. 7.5, maybe. Because it wasn't really that much action. But, you know, that's part of the story. So, they stuck with that. And I appreciate it. And next episode would be a filler. Um, I mean, it's how grown was fast. But it's like, hey. Thank you. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. But it's like, yo. 
one, y'all might not make any sense to this one either. Two, I kind of want to, you know, watch the canon version. But, you know, whatever. It was a good episode. You know, by the way, people are going to be bitching. Oh, you always say, you always say, I got an episode to get ready. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I like the episode, okay? It's just what I stated was factual, and people just can't stand that. And I've been seeing that in my comment section lately. And when my phone, you know, comes back and, you know, everything's good, I will call you motherfuckers out by name on video. Since you guys, you know, want to be fucking stupid. And when I try to give you guys help, you deny it and then insult me with stupid or racist fucking comments. You will get called out. You guys want the attention? I'll, I'll gladly give it to you. I don't give a fuck. My Zaku here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. I'm out.